April is here and today we're gonna do some very exciting project. I mean, aren't they all exciting? Anyways, today we're gonna be making the full over full bunk bed. Yeah! As I told you before, I was planning to move my kids to the same bedroom and I decided to make this full over full bunk bed. And let me tell you, I was so not disappointed. It's been such a like a rough process only because, you know, like I had to finish everything, you know, like before their bedtime and they go to bed at 6 p.m. So I was very limited on time, but overall, I absolutely love this project. But I'm gonna tell you, it's not fully complete yet because I'm still planning to do some add-ons. Like, let me hint you, like the roof on the top bunk and some sort of like a rainbow. I mean, I have to say, I have this vision in my head, but I don't know how it's gonna turn out, but that's why stay tuned, subscribe to my channel, and next week, or maybe like in a few weeks, I'm gonna show you how to spice up this bed to make it absolutely outstanding and one of a kind. I was trying to find the free plan, but most of the beds are either twin, of a twin, or they twin of a full, which would make so much more sense if you have kids and they sleep on the smaller beds. So, what I did, I actually went ahead, I learned how to do SketchUp, which I'm so, so, so proud about, and uh, I made my own plan. By the way, you can download this free plan on my blog, and uh, which shows you step by step what to do and how to build the same bed. But let's get to building this bed. Hey guys, I just tried the first time the table saw. Can I tell you something? It's so much less intimidating than I thought it would be. I mean, I really hope nothing bad gonna happen, but um, yeah, so we're just gonna do it. So first thing we need to do is uh, to trim the edges from all our two by six and uh, yeah, and take it from there. Let's do it. You see my awesome uh, workbench? Actually, this card works as the outfit table for my table saw. I'm done and check it out. Look at the edges, you know, like they're so uh, sharp, you know, like con compared to this edge, you see? So I feel that this, a the um, more rounded one, kind of like makes it, uh, the fringe looked a bit unfinished and not professional. But with this edge, we're gonna have so amazing product. I'm so excited, but the only issue that I ran into, like by using my table saw, it has so much dust. It's crazy, it creates so much dust. And I have my shop vac, but uh, unfortunately this uh, end doesn't go over here. So, I'm not sure what to do, and if you have some solution to reduce uh, the sawdust on your table saw, send it my way. I definitely need it. I'm gonna pre-cut most of the parts of the bed, and then I'm just gonna mill, mill them all today, so I don't have to come back to it later. bed frames already. I mean, they're square and neat. So today we're gonna be making legs, you know, that goes to our bunk bed and for this we're gonna take um, 2x6 and 2x4. We're gonna make pocket holes in 2x4s uh, throughout the whole length and then we're gonna use glue and connect it um, with a crab jack. Let's do it. 
a little pro tip when, uh, that I learned along the way is that if you make a lot of pocket holes, you should constantly check if it's a uh, correct size because for some reason, like sometimes it's um, uh, kind of slides off and creates a bigger hole and that's why the nail comes out from the other side. So make sure that you do the right measurements and that you check after, I would say five, six like pocket holes, uh, the right size. So all four legs are done and uh, manga rush is a mess, don't pay attention to it please. Uh, and now I'm going, the next step would be to disassemble my Montessori floor bed because I want to use the wood that I had there for uh, planks, rails, what's the name of it, for slats, you know, like for to put under the mattress on the second floor and to put the uh, side boards on which this slat's gonna be uh, laying on top. Does it make sense? Anyway, so I want to repurpose the wood from my previous bed and uh, that's why I'm gonna go and say goodbye to my Montessori floor house bed. And just like that, it took me only 30 minutes to disassemble this bed, which is uh, quite a surprise because to assemble it, it was so much longer. So uh, since it's raining outside today and I can't open my garage, I'm gonna come back to it tomorrow and um, this is why I did it with Sasha and like so I wanted her to say goodbye to her bed and uh, to be like fully prepared that tonight she's gonna be sleeping on the mattress and that tomorrow there's gonna be some awesomeness waiting for her. <laughs> day two and um, I'm continue making the bed. I brought in the bases and now I'm gonna be making the support for the rails for one of the bases for the top one. So I decided that I'm not gonna be making um, the, sup not support, but the bottom for the ground floor. The mattress that we have already is quite thick, so we're gonna try to buy another one a bit thinner side, but I wanna save as much space in between as I could, because also, as you can see, I'm very limited by the height of this bunk bed, so it cannot go higher than this because of this angled roof. Two words about this slat support. So I saw online, actually I couldn't find online full of a full bunk bed um, building plan. So what I saw, it was only for the twin size and they never used the plank in the middle, you know, like for support. So I thought if it's gonna be a full size, I'll need like a full support in the top. So I'm gonna be using this two by fours in the middle and the two by two on the sides. And uh, I'm gonna attach two by twos with a crack jack. This one's with the screws and the glue. Let's do it. This is the top bunk bed and it now has the support for uh, slats for the mattress. Two legs are done. Two babies are here. Now is the most intriguing moment because, sorry for the <laughs> for the screams, my kids, my kids are going crazy downstairs. But uh, now, 
<laughs> this is the moment X because I'm gonna put this frame on top of this little um, thing and then I'm gonna screw it all in together and adjust the height as I go. So basically those things, it's very convenient, you know, like especially if you do it by yourself. check if it's too high or too low and if I need to adjust it a little bit but I'm so excited because that was probably the hardest part I mean I don't know anyways yeah so I just I realized the first time that it was a bit too high so I adjusted this thing two inches lower so now it is at um, 14 inches from the top I think it looks awesome. Oh my god, I see already so much potential. Uh, so now I'm going, I'm going to screw some screws <laughs> into the ends uh, over here. Six here, six here. I think it's going to be secure enough. I mean, we'll see in the end. I'm going to do a test myself. <laughs> I think I did a great progress today and um, Sasha is going to bed soon. It's 5.30, she goes to bed at 6. So I'm gonna clean up this room and uh, she's gonna sleep on the mattress today. And tomorrow, I mean, I hopefully I'm gonna finish it. <sighs> Let's see. But it looks so sturdy. I'm actually so proud. I'm definitely gonna try to get on top of this tomorrow. So check it out, my floors are not even and uh, you see there's a little gap so I'm gonna try to find a flatter position. Now, to test it out. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna fill there, I'm gonna fill those holes. Some of them don't bother me because they're gonna be under the mattress, but some of them they're very visible, especially on the legs. So I'm gonna do that before I'm gonna paint it over. Best one side of the one leg of the bed. I want it to look as um, smooth as possible. And uh, I also patched some of the, of the knots on the wood to achieve the smooth effect. So at that point, when the structure was done, I had to sand it so smoothly that, you know, like it's like a baby's butt smooth, you know, because you don't want the splinters on the kid's hands, right? I had to sand it and I skipped that part and I didn't, I'm not gonna show you because it was a, such a tedious process and it was such a disaster because I had to do it inside the bedroom and the dust was all over the place, even though I tried to take out as much furniture as I could, but still it was bad, very bad. And then after that, I had to paint it over and I decided to use my spray painter, which I absolutely love, but I never used it inside before. And the thing that I've learned this time is that it's quite difficult to actually spray paint uh, furniture inside because as much as I tried to cover all the walls and everything was plastic, the spray paint was like all over the place. And at that point, I kind of regret not using a roller, but, and I was like trying to hurry for my kid's nap. So this is why I didn't record that, but you're still gonna see the final product right now. And it is, oh my God. I mean, if you ask me, I think it's so, so, Amazing.
Overall, I think that this project was a huge success. Stay tuned for the next video when I'm gonna show how I'm gonna spice it up to make this bed one of a kind. And yes, that's definitely gonna be exciting. Do you have any doubt? Thank you so much for watching guys and I wanted to say thank you for my subscribers you know like for following along this crazy journey and yes I mean please comment below uh, like share my video it's really gonna help my channel to grow and uh, yes as you know as soon as you hit that subscribe button you instantly become my best friend so what are you waiting for I'll see you next week ding, 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 ding.